know, many things have changed with technology, but something that remains constant is the fact that we all need to know the time throughout the day. And we may, you know, use our devices to do it. We may use our computers. We may use a good old fashioned wristwatch. And this is the way that most people still prefer to tell the time because of course it's with you all of the time, isn't it? You don't have to get it out of your handbag. You can just flick up your wrist and there is your watch. Well, we've got two different sizes here, a small and a large or a ladies and a gents if you want to think of them that way. But I like to think of them as small and large because I think this is actually something really suitable for a younger child as well. And the reason is, is that this is a talking watch. So not only can you see what the time is and see very clearly because they are great very clear faces with nice, big, easy to read numbers, nothing complicated, really stand out uh, arms on them or hands on them as well. So it means that you can read it really clearly, but then if you choose to, you can also listen to it. And I'll demonstrate now, just by using this top button here, all you need to do is the press the button. Could you hear that? And then... There you go. The time is 11.30 Isn't that fantastic? So you can actually use it to tell you the time as well, which is fantastic if you find that your sight is going or if perhaps you find that when you don't have your glasses on, you can't read the face of your watch. So in this way, all you have to do is press the button. It's a little bit like Maxwell Smart or something, isn't it? It's kind of new age combined with the traditional and I love that and it's a beautiful looking timepiece. It's quite weighty, it's got a lovely gold face on it which works beautifully or the gold um, surround if you like, this gold case is probably the correct term with the white face, the black numbers, the black hands and then a really beautiful black leather band as well. So you have all of that uh, beautiful craftsmanship in this piece, very beautifully finished. I love the, the uh, effect that you get from the uh, shine on the gold through there. So it does actually, I think, look like quite an exclusive watch and yet you're not paying an exclusive price and you've got that great little extra of it talking to you as well. Now not only that, when was the last time that you saw an analog wristwatch that also had an alarm on it? So you can actually set an alarm as well. So if I take you to the side of the watch, what you'll see is three individual buttons or dials down here. So the top one I showed you, that's the one that you press when you want it to talk to you and it will convey the date and the time if you like, so not just the time but the date as well. This one is your standard crown that you spin to change the analogue face. And then this little button down here, well it's actually um, inset, you need a little pin or something um, pointed, a little poker, to a skewer, to pop in there. That's how you set the time and you can also set the date and the alarm as well. So whilst that might be a little bit fiddly at first, once you've set that, of course, it's in place for you. And it means that you've got those extra functions. Now, of course, if you don't want it to talk to you, if you don't need an alarm, isn't it still a beautiful looking watch that is operated by battery and a single quartz crystal as well. And you have those clear analog or the clear analog face and the very clear hands as well. So either way, I think that this is another great innovations product that does that double duty that we so often talk about because of course it's an analog watch that talks.